Oh yeah, chapter six. Let's go. Forgot to say that. This is more for the sake of the VOD than the, the for the stream because I'm using the VOD to make the videos. Huh. Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. The following day at Kujo Mansion. Really, this early. Hello? Hey, Donakamatsu here. Oh, hi. Thanks for your help last night. What do you want? Um, actually... Ms. Asioka called me this morning to tell me something. The departed's figure is getting darker and darker each day. You should back away from this now. Oh. Coming from a spiritualist like Yasuoka, those words would carry some serious weight. No wonder she's scared. He's scared. Eta's information has really been a great help, but... With other people we've lost in this case, there is just no way I can try and talk him into his his life to help me. Oh, he's saying he's quitting. Okay. I got it. You had a great help. Thanks for all the work you did for me. It's fine, Eta. Okay. Oh! I'll get back to teaching you how to work a computer once this case is all done. We we'll start with the internet use. That'll be something nice for you to look forward, Yashki. Yeah, thanks. Imagine not having to go to the to the store to buy a magazine. Now I can have all I need on the internet. Hmm. Fancy. Oh, achievement. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was something else. Okay, it's fine. I leave the mansion head to Konoe Hard Academy. After report last night's events to Mr. Konoe. I enter the special building and walk towards the infirmary. Think. Oh, no, it's okay. It is the base of operations. As usual, there is nobody. I forgot. It's been like almost a week. I better go to the faculty room. Mr. Kono is waiting for me. Haven't found all the tooth from last chapter that I know. I found like four, maybe seven. I right, faculty room, not student council. Since afternoon classes are still in session, the faculty room looks emptier than usual. Mr. Kono is sitting on the back room, notices my arrival. Are you here, Yashki? His voice sounds weak, and for some reason his complexion doesn't look so good. Are you alright? Are you sure we are inquiring about my physical condition? No, I'm not well. I've been feeling lethargic and sluggish all morning. Perhaps it's the ravages of stress taking a toll on my body. But that's not about me. I heard you received a notice yesterday. How did the investigation go? I give an detailed info report about Mr. Kokuri's case from beginning to end. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna say this when I'm recording the... Uh, the sixth chapter, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. But I'm re recording the uh, the chapter, Mr. Kokuri's chapter, for the bad end. But, um. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. The sour expression on his face as he listens to me recounting the events of last night tells me all I need to know. It was cool. It was nice. Change of, change of scenery, like going to the forest and stuff. But. I don't know. You know when he hits you and you think like, oh, yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? I forgot about it. And uh, it's not a, a thing of you have a lot of things to do and just forgot about it. No, it's just like, it's. I literally just said I'm going to explain this while I'm recording the audience. Okay. Focus. 
goodness gracious, I'm an old lady again. First is meeting Horikoshi, no Kakta. Three students have gone missing under my watch. And yet again, you fear to protect your targeted student. Why are you apologizing to me? Your students and their parents are the ones you should be apologizing to. Mr. Conway, you can fire me if you like. But how would you stop the party then? Ah! Mr. Conway is for silence at my words. You're right. No matter how many valid complaints I have, it doesn't change the fact that you're the only hope I have to rectify the situation. I let out an overly exaggerated sigh. I understand the situation he's in. Plus, what else can I do other than threaten him to stop bothering me? However, one more victim and you will be dismissed. Shakamoro has backed me into a corner. She's suspicious of you, especially in regards to Doryu and Kinokawa. But she's misunderstanding the situation. Your last chance, understood? Yeah. Good. That's all for me then. Don't let me down, Yashiki. I leave the faculty room feeling Mr. Conway still staring daggers into my back. Honestly, I couldn't care less if Mr. Kono and Sakamoto suspect me. But if I get kicked off campus, I won't be able to investigate. And I know I'm the only one who can pursue the departed to bring this to an end. I can't afford to make more mistakes. I chime sounds over the speakers. Looks like class is over already. What do I do now? I really wanted to start doing some investigation, but I have no idea where to start. The departed who is still hiding at Konoe Hara Academy is playing their cards well. There doesn't seem to be any clues left. I have to pick one spot that still has some ties to them. The clock towers is like the prime spot. During summer vacation, Dorio and Michio saw the female doll in the red dress there. At that moment, their bodies were afflicted with a curse. If the departed was the one who caused it, then that tower is probably connected to them. There might be something in there. Maybe I can get some more info if I talk to her. Should I go visit her? The doll or the girls? Which one of them? Um, I don't know. Uh. Let me see. Are they here? They are. Dorio is standing near the window when I enter the student council room. She notices my presence right away and turns to me. Alright, this is Dorio. I thought Dorio was the other one. I ah, say so here today. I heard about Kakuta from Michio. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. Say, Dorio. There's something I want to ask about the clock tower. Ah, that reminds me. I haven't told you about it yet. About what? I actually went to the clock tower during a lunch break yesterday. Why'd you do that? You shouldn't be taking risks like that. Spirits don't show up during the day, so it's fine. I didn't go inside though. The door wouldn't open. That's weird. Did someone lock it? That's unlikely. The key to the clock tower is missing. Nobody is able to enter the clock tower right now. But it was open that night. What's that the report is doing? Probably. Looks like I can't investigate the clock tower just yet. Um, about the clock tower. One time the clock tower doll I saw made the school newspaper. I was skimming through the school's old newspaper this morning, hoping to get information about the departed. And then I found an article about a female doll. Mr. Konami told the school's historical records were lost due to war damage. And for it to have been buried in the school newspaper archives. Aren't you squeamish when it comes to horror stories and the likes? I made you do that. Oh, um... 
I just wanted to be of some help. Oh, what a blush. <laughs> Come on, man. You're just seeing things. Oh, really? Can you tell me the details of that rumor? Uh, yes. Oh, there we go. There was a rumor going around Konoyahar Academy. You don't say. Ah, oh, the accordions! Sixty years ago, the first headmaster built the clock tower to commemorate the school's 10th anniversary. That was a prediction, by the way. Um... On YouTube side of things, the uh, thumbnail for the VOD that I'm using... The thumbnail that I'm using for the VOD... Like, phrase formulating... Um, it is the clock tower. But it is me. Like I position myself on the. I'm gonna cut this from the video later on. I position myself on top of the clock tower, like the moon from Ajara's mask. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for the Twitch side. If people are watching this on uh, the video on Twitch. But that was a prediction. Also, the position. No, the position of the crows are the same. Never mind. It is an image that you get, is a CG that you get on the fourth chapter. So I was planning on also using that um, thumbnail for the fourth chapter. Alright. I saw a stone clock tower that stood down the remote countryside of Konohara. Many students were wondering what the inside of the tower was like. Overcome with curiosity, some eventually snuck into the tower. What I saw inside the tower was the first headmaster's collection. There were a lot of any antique things, but the item that caught the attention of most people was a doll wearing a red, a red wedding dress that lay on the stone altar. Rumors of the doll spread in no time, because everyone was interested in its origin. However, the first headmaster has already passed away by the time, so he wasn't able to answer those burning questions. With nobody to tell the truth, wild speculation regarding the doll was run unchecked. The first headmaster, who had always been fond of antique goods, had bought that doll from the European family. It's a cursed doll that was modeled after the young girls who became sacrifices. That story sounds familiar. The first headmaster had a craftsman made the doll to enshrine the, de the deities of Konohara. It's a doll made to count the soul of a student who lost their fiancé and committed suicide. Fiancé. No definitive answer has ever been found because there wasn't anyone around who knew the truth. In the end, everyone forgot about the doll in the clock tower once the war broke out. And that was the rumor feature in the school newspaper. It's truly an interesting story, but the rumor has no variations regarding the or origin of the doll. Which one is the truth, if any? Right. Let me confirm one thing. Are there any rumors about the doll moving? No? None at all? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Voice break. There are people who have, been s have seen the female doll. But not when she's moving. Because I'm the only one who witnessed it. I gotta go soon. Thanks, Dorio. Hope that information could help me in some way. I have to go head out as well. The teachers told us not to stay at school. I say goodbye to Dorio. I say goodbye to Dorio. I say goodbye, Dorio, and let me this to the council room. There is a two and a comma missing. Wow, grab a police. One in through the corridor. Never mind that. That was weird. Where'd I go now? To explore? Sakamoto? 
When I enter the faculty room for the second time, I see Sakamoto inside. Still playing in our school, are you, Mr. Yashiki? I ask Mr. Konoe to do away with you, though. Ah, oh, don't worry, he heard you. He told me that I'll be dismissed if I make another mistake. That Konoe is far too lenient. If an incident occurs, it'll be too late. We need to deal with this problem quickly. By problem, are we referring to... My qualification as a teacher? That is certainly a problem. Though I'm more worried about Doryu and Kinokawa. I don't know what kind of nonsense you've connected into that skull of yours, but I assure you there's nothing going on. I have no intention of doing anything untowards with any students. And yet, an incident can still occur even without a teacher having any such intentions. Just like in Mr. Hirose's. And an issue that you could have stopped. Okay. Ah, oh, but my family, the student's family is in high regards and it's just... It's a shitty child with a shitty family. If anything, everyone should have been kicked in the butt a long time ago. Hirose, the art teacher Sakamoto told me about when I was investigating Sleeve Mado Kashima. Both Kashima and Manabe had a crush on him, which spiraled into, a tra into a tragic, tra bleh, tragic consequences. Uh, sorry about that. I warned Dorian Kinokawa not to get close to you, but seeing them defend you so fervently, the situation is getting dangerous. That's what my in in intuition as a woman is telling me. Let me repeat it again. This is all just a big misunderstanding on your part. I warned you, Mr. Yashiki. If you excuse me then... Ouch! Sakamoto grimaces, pressing her fingers to her temple. Hey, you okay? Leave me be. I've been having terrible headaches since this morning. It's all your fault. Your... Mine? Mumbling in... in... Inventivis. Inventi... What? Mumbling... Weird stuff at me. Sakamoto hurriedly stumbles out of the faculty room. What the hell is that word? Jeez. And I'm the grammar police. At least another living dictionary. A big sigh escaped my lips. There's nothing I can do about it. I have to investigate it about it. And sometimes the only way I can make progress is by getting the students' cooperation. I shouldn't refrain from asking them. Inventives. Inventives. Inventives? Inventives. Inventives is the word of the day. When I step into the library, I find a girl whose appearance clashes with the place. Kakuta didn't come to school today. You know anything about it? Sorry, no idea. There's no way I can tell Marohashi about Kakuta's death. What are you doing here? I'm just chilling here. Got no place to go. Not after I learned how horrifying the corridor was. Then you should just go home. Didn't the teachers tell you not to hang out here after school? Who knows? Maybe something weird will happen to you again. Stop acting like a teacher. Don't freak me out like that. I was about to go home anyway. My body just feels really heavy somehow today. I'm gonna stay tonight again. If you do, be careful. I have a bad feeling. I say goodbye to Marohashi and leave the library. The school will be closing shortly. All students please promptly oh our students please promptly vacate the school grounds for today. I forgot what I was doing for that. It's finally time for students to leave school. I head back to the infirmary and try to come up with some kind of strategy for tonight. Um, I don't want to. There's nothing I can do in the new building. I'm what a soccer day. Oh, it's you. I come back, Mr. Yashiki. What are you doing here? School ended a while ago. You better go, go home now. Goodness, that is too much. 
Even for an old lady like me, a new graduate from the old lady oh my goodness school. I'm not asking for grand gesticulations of friendship, but I wouldn't hurt you to be a tad bit kinder, you know. After all, I have come all the way here to provide you with information regarding the departed. What are these dogs doing? Oh, there's a cat. There's a weird cat on the wall. I see. Well, it's gone now. Come again? No. Okay. Listen to this guy. He has something to say. What's to save the game? I'm listening. Tell me more. Before you get to the myth of my report, there's something I'd like to tell you. This will be my final act of assistance. I shall cease pursuing the departed after this. Oh, really? What's with a sudden decision? I saw something in my left eye. I witnessed my own tragic end, assaulted by a terrifying demon with numerous legs. By demon with numerous legs, I assume he must be referring to some kind of bug. If you want to deride me from my cowardice, feel free to do so. But I won't die if I abandon my pursuit now. My master has also warned me to do so. I'm not gonna laugh at you, you made a wise decision. However, it seems like you have not been afforded the same option. You cannot run from the departed any longer. So, this is my parting gift to you as you take another step closer to death. The departed, a name we learn through the notices. However, that sinister name has existed since long before we first heard of it. A hundred years ago before Konohara Academy was even founded. A dark incident occurred on this land. There was a small village called M-Town near Konohara. At some point, residents of M-Town succumbed to an unknown disease, one by one. In the end, the village was destroyed and the incident was forgotten. But one of the residents said this before they died. This is the departed's wrath. This is the most valuable information I've, I've ever found. Some interesting information, where'd you learn it? From the former headmaster. He liked to study the school's history during the spare time. When the first notice arrived, I went to him and asked if he knew something. So he told you about the departed's wrath? Yes, it sounded like a mere ghost story to him, more than anything. He was a realist. He didn't believe in the departed. If I remember correctly, that headmaster died of a heart attack, didn't he? Yes. If you were still alive, you might have learned more valuable information from him. Right after the departed's notice first arrived, the only person who knew about their past died. Another convenient co coincidence. I'm sorry, I just noticed that there is a dog barking on the background again. I can't hear because of the, uh, of the music. Well, I shall be going home soon. To tell you the truth, I have been feeling under the weather. Plea, perhaps I'm possessed. Now that I think about it, I've heard similar complaints from a lot of people today. I could just be an outbreak of some disease, but the events of last night suddenly crossed my mind. What if the departed's transformation now gives them the power to not only affect the school but humans as well? Or am I overthinking things? Mr. Yashki. The gruesome death I saw with my left eye also applies to you. What awaits you is an inevitable catastrophe. I hate to see the great spirit doctor lose his life this way. After despondently speaking those words, Abe leaves the room. 
I guess I'll take that as a sign that he's really worried about me. The sun sets and darkness falls on Konoha Academy. How many times have I greeted the night here? Bidi 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 bidi. Why is the phone ringing right now? Hello? Ah, it's me, Micho Kinokawa. Thank goodness you're still at the school. Thank goodness. What's wrong? Um, just wanted to ask if you made any progress with the investigation. I'm curious. I'm in front of the school now. Mind coming out? I don't mind, but we could just talk over the phone. Oh jeez, it's fine, isn't it? I'll be waiting then. Sakamoto just gave me that warning today. Oh well, I have no choice since I made a promise. Should I head to the main gate now? Um, isn't this how the departed attracts people? To kill them personally? I thought it was something like this, like... Makes a phone call... We go, My model collapsed. And then we go and check and... We die. I don't really know what I'm buying. Isn't that anything left to check? There's no one here. I have to be polite and at least take a gander. Who knows? What if I find a tooth flying on the floor? Nope, nope, oh. My bad. Oh, it is red. The lights in the hallway are glowing red. Given the lack of commotion right now, I guess nobody's noticed that. Oh well. Uh, it's pretty hard to miss, so someone's going to notice it sooner or later. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness I can't go into this goddamn classroom. Oh, club activities will be halted for the time being. Head home as soon as classes are over. Hmm. So they are taking notices. They're just not actively referring to that. Oh, Micho is actually here, okay. The moment she sees me, she rushes over like a puppy. Good evening, Miss Ayashiki. <clears throat> that was weird. You look tired today, too. I'm surprised, though. How are you feeling? Same old, same old. A bit tired since I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Never mind that. How's the investigation going? Did you learn any new facts? Not a lot, but... There are a lot I know about the departed's wrath that I heard from Abe. Wrath of the Departed? That sounds like something from a fantasy novel. Or a video game. Hmm. They should make a story about that. Did the previous headmaster tell you anything? Nope. I wasn't particularly close to him. I'm still his council vice president, but I usually just have him deal with the teachers. Oh, okay. And something has caught my attention. I remember M Town coming up in one of the cases somehow. Unless she mentions it, the name doesn't sound somewhat familiar. Does sound somewhat familiar. In which case, did the name M Town show up? It was uh, Kashima. I recall what happened when we were investigating his leaf Marukashima. Yeah, the doctor... Uh, the doctor. The teacher, after he was dismissed from school from the accusations, he apparently got drunk and drove this car off the bridge uh, on the entrance of M-Town. Apparently. And like, no one further investigated from that, because, you know, it's kind of obvious what happened, but 
Maybe. I feel like I saw the name during Sleep Mario Kashima's investigation. Where did I see the name Emtong? Uh, um, bus drop? I tried to remember what was written on the bus drop map I saw. Bingo. One of the bus stops I saw that time was Emtong Shop. I immediately tell Micho. I immediately let Micho know about it. Ah, oh, you're right. You should have a good memory. If the owners are descendants of a named town residence, they might have some documents from the past. I'll try going to the M town shop. Sure, let's go there together. Wait a minute. You coming with me? Of course I am. <clears throat> but don't you have a curfew? Curfew, schmurfew, I don't care. The door manager trusts her, you know. He meant, that is. That's not the issue, though. I don't want to leave you alone. Carrying these burdens out by yourself just seems really tough. Tough, huh? I guess it is. Mr. Kono's ultimatum, Sakamoto's hostility, Abe's prediction of death. They departed constantly targeting me. The students I couldn't protect. Bamon's unconscious in a hospital bed. Again. My heart is screaming from all the way it's, uh, it's bearing. But I've chosen to close my ears and ignore it. I know I can help carry out the heavy baggage, but I can at least help you relax a bit. I'm begging you, I'm not asking for much. Well, I guess you're coming then. Her kindness tastes as sweet as honey to my exhausted mind. Don't say it like that. Except, there's a chance she might be the departed. Micho and I climb into the car that parked near the school. M Town Shop isn't too far from here. I park my car nearby and walk towards the bus stop in front of M Town Shop. Ah, the stop is so creepy. The building is run down, there is no sign of life inside. Doesn't look like anyone's actually lives here. You find out for sure once we check it out. Tooth? There was a tooth here in the first chapter. A postcard. I wonder what is a postcard of. Let's check it out. It's for an investigation. Why are you being so casual about everything? Without responding and before I can tell her to stop, Mitchell's already got her hands at the box mailbox lid. Huh? It's not opening. Is it locked? I don't see a keyhole though. Just bang it with a flashlight. Hmm. A crooked guard guardrail on a slender pole. Looking at the brake marks on the roads, it seems like there was a car accident here. Safe driving is important. You should take that as a, a tattoo heart, Mr. Yashiki. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Kora Kora! There's a faded paper with the word morning. On it, on it, pasted on the glass door. Is it is a morning notice? I think they hang it on the house and they're supposed to remove it after 49 days. Sure not a lot of strange things, huh? Now I need to sneeze. Gesundheit. When my grandma died, one of the relatives told me about it. But does that mean... Someone here passed away sometime in the past seven weeks? I suppose it would imply that. That is what a morning sign is supposed to mean. Someone died. And the family is feeling it. And they have the rights of the... Morning. A vending machine with bottled, bottled water inside. A rare sight these days. Judging by the lack of any lights on the f and the fact that it's not making any sort of mechanical sounds, it seems like it's no longer in use. And this vending machine is kind of rare, isn't it? Got bottles of water. It's got out of order. It's what a shame, I wanted to buy one of for nostalgia. Why do you mean... Rare? What? I don't know. 
Like, we don't have a lot of these vending machines in Brazil. They never worked. Yeah, we don't have any machines in Brazil. Now that I think about it. At least where I live, there is... None of those. There used to be some, but I guess it started to go under misuse and abandonment and people stopped caring about that. Huh. The other side of this dusty glass door is pitch black, preventing us from seeing the inside of the store from this vantage point. Green! What's going on here? I hear an eerie male voice coming from inside the shop. Do it again? Oh. There's no bell anywhere around the store. We just have to knock on the door to see if there's someone inside. A knock on it. Oh Jesus, is that a door sound? There's no response. I thought it was a glass. Maybe they're asleep. Let's try it again. Still no response. Let's give it one last try. Third time is the charm, right? But there starts to resist it. Good. Tinnitus. What? A scene suddenly flashes before my eyes. And that scene is. Oh, is it that body? It might be. Um, just for precaution, as always. And that scene is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. It is an old man on the floor. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can I remove the um no, that's not it. That's not it either. Um there we go. Look at that. There are centipedes growing on his brain. It's like he got infected with um You know those parasites, uh, bees, wasps, whatever. Now, there are some insects that do that. They find, it's usually on caterpillars or long body insects that they do it, but I guess it doesn't make a difference. But they infect the insects with their eggs. And it has something on the eggs themselves that makes so that the host uh, kind of protects the eggs. So the host will go like find a secluded place and and keep themselves away from from danger in order for the eggs to hatch, and then they willingly give themselves for the first nourishment of some of the bugs. It's kind of weird, but okay, that's enough. That's enough of seeing old men dying. Um, his head is deformed and swelling to the point of becoming gelatinous. No, oh, don't say it like that. Swarms of centipedes continue to issue forth from his, from the eyes, exclusively from the eyes. Bugs. Is this? They're about as rough. The moment he stops speaking, his body also stops twitching. Other moves in the dark and no bugs. I wonder what caused this to happen. Uh, what? Yashki! I can no longer hear any response coming from his gaping mouth. There is one thing that I'm dead certain about. He said this was Terapata's wrath. What's wrong? I saw what happened. The owner of the shop 
He was probably killed by the Departed's wrath. I described the vision which is south of Mitchell. Well, I'll sleep in tonight. So the person that was being mourned was that old man you saw them. Imagine the family come. Actually, maybe not. The Departed has the habits of like disappearing with the bodies. So maybe the family didn't see the old man. Uh, I mean, they're in mourning. Well, mourning has a lot of implications. Like, they're mourning a deceased parents, but that doesn't mean they be the parents deceased. They could have just disappeared for a really long time. And they just assumed death, so they're mourning. So there is a chance the family didn't see the body. They just assumed that something happens. The chapter just started, you know, already speculating. I guess so, yeah. But they had a morning notice up, which means they had a funeral. That means his corpse uh, is a... It's like a prefectural thing. It's like an official document saying that you're mourning. It's not like a family posting made on a notebook. Huh. It's an official thing. That's odd, because the other victim's corpse disappears. How could that be? They didn't cut the corpse remain too, though. Maybe there are times where they don't need to get rid of the corpse or something. I don't understand. It's just a guess, but... The reporter wants to continue this whole little notice game. If there is actually a dead body found at the school, the police will come. There's a chance that the school will be closed and then there won't be any students. So maybe they only discard the corpses at school. But Madabe's body was also disappeared and she didn't die at school. That one was probably because of you though. Without corpse in the hospital, the cops probably would have arrested you. That was also not something their body wants. That actually makes sense, since I'm supposed to be their husband. And this ends my sloppy deduction, thank you for listening. And though she doesn't seem too highly for reasoning, I have to admit that it does make sense. This course was found outside the school, and had no ties to me, therefore it remains. Oh, so it didn't disappear, okay. Give me one more sec. I actually need to blow my nose now, god damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> Why was it cursed though? I'm melting. Ugh. I'm not sure, but... Maybe it's because he was a descendant of an M-Town resident? M-Town was destroyed by the Departed's Wrath. But we don't know what exactly happened here. The Wrath still remains and he killed the old man. How's that sound? He came from the mailbox. So an old, there's an old mailbox hanging on the wooden wall. When I peer inside, I first find a postcard. Doesn't look any different. Yeah, I was just hearing things. Just to be sure, I tried to open the lid one more time. Unlike last time, it opens easily. How is this possible? Something just happened to get caught on the mailbox. So the mailbox refused to open. Or was that a trigger or something? Well, it's not like I'm going to get an answer. Time to see what's locked away. I collect the postcard. You're addressed to M Town Shop, though I have no idea who the sender is. Our the sender is the previous headmaster. Really? I flip the card over and find some words of gratitude written on it. This is obviously some kind of thank you letter from the previous headmaster. Regarding the letter more truly, the shop owner apparently donated an old book about M Town's ritual to the school. An old book about M Town, huh? Interesting. Should be in Konohara Academy now. Probably in the library. Although, if they consider it to be a valuable item, they might have put it away somewhere else for safekeeping. We came this far. That's where the trail leads, so why don't we try looking for it? Let's go back to the academy.
I leave them down shop and get into the car that parked nearby. I should have checked for tooth. I, I mean, I did, but didn't find anything. Are we in the car now? The trip back to Konohara Academy should only take about 5 minutes if we don't get caught in traffic. To the right, Michiho only stares blankly at the scenery outside. She was in such high spirits earlier. I wonder what's wrong. Say, Mr. Yashiki. Do you have a moment? Michiho calls out to me in a low, subdued voice, as if she were waiting for the right moment to spring something to me. I need your opinion on something. It's related to the departed. Mind if I talk about it? Sure, go ahead. It's about the departed's notices. Do you remember how many notices we gotten? One, two, three, four, five. Including the, the one that arrived for oh six. 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 Correct! Way to go! I try to recall the six notices. The first was targeting Ribbon, aka Kyoko Takai, and the second one was targeting the pianist, Toshihiko Kizumi. The third notice was for Naomi Horikoshi, the model, and the fourth was for Megumi Manabe, the gold prize. Fifth was for Doryo and Micho, student council, and finally the hooligan, Shin Shikakuta. Wait a minute. Ribbon? Uh, ribbon, pianist, gold prize. Uh, student council, hooligan. Model. I know, what? No, no, it's, it's right. I counted, it's because I counted one for each chapter. Plus the ones before I, uh, one for each chapter, plus the pianist and ribbon. Plus ribbon, not the pianist. So, um, yeah. No, it is. It is six. What about the notices? I want to know about the purpose was for issuing those notices. The Departed isn't a spirit who goes around committing horrible acts for fun. They issue those notices with a goal in mind. Ever since the model noticed, they've been releasing more notices to test you, the husband. But what about the first two? Well, now you got me all curious about it too. Do you have any ideas? Well, yeah, sorta. If they issued the later notices as a trial for their husbands, I'm guessing that I also apply for the first two. So you're saying... There was already a marriage candidate, even before I arrived at the school. Yep. If I'm right, who do you think it was? The potential husband before me was... Um... Potential husbands? Mm, the first intuition would be Abe because of his spiritual connection. It wasn't Izumi before because he was targeted. The targets are not. Yeah, the targets are not the husbands because the targets had the test. I think it was Konoe. Huh? Why do you think that? He wasn't even at school when the first notice arrived. What do you think it was then? Izumi, really? But he was the target. Izumi was different from the other victims. Before he was murdered, he said that the part of the skull. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, I got a message. I actually heard his last words. Seems like he knew that the part of true identity. Seriously? Who is it? Well, he didn't actually say it. 
but if he really did learn that the part is to a drain identity, he probably was being put on trial. So the first notice really has issue to test Izumi, huh? I guess he was deemed unfit since he abandoned Akai and ran away. Maybe that's why he became the second target. I showed up at Konohar Academy at that time. I don't know what they saw in me, but they chose me as the next potential husband. And you didn't run away and actually accepted the challenge. You tried to save the spirit souls. That cool side of yours must have fit in with the image of an ideal husband. I'm not cool, I have a job. I'm not paid for it, but I have a job. That concludes Michiho Kinokawa's deduction. Man, I should have a good imagination, right? Maybe I can be a novelist or something. Can you be a dog caretaker? Can you uh, take them away from me for a few hours while I'm trying to do this? No? Don't like dogs? They eat bugs? They do. They're smart ones though. They only eat the ones who don't kill them. <laughs> that was dark. To be honest, I'm blown away by the story that Michio con connect concocted to me. It's as if the party themselves is telling me their plans. Stop saying like that. I would have never thought that you could piece together the train of thought so well. I'm surprised. Heh. <laughs> Michio smiles, her finger playing with her white hair. I suppose it's because that doll was cursed by the departed. Previously, she said she thought the departed was the female doll. Guess she still stands by that. Somehow, I can't understand how they feel. Like when I was possessed by Kashima. The departed has been longing for an ideal husband for who knows how long. And then they found you. Micho? I mean, this didn't came. It's not coming out of nowhere. You kind of have a feeling that something like this will happen soon, but you also don't expect it to happen. So it's kind of like, what? In any case, I love you. I want to vow to live happily ever after with you. Then I want to. Swerve the car into the guardrail. Eat you up. Oh, she is the, the departed. Okay. Just kidding. Oh, she's not. Come on now. Ah, oh, don't be mad, please. I end up getting carried away when I start acting like the departed. How was it? Did I freak you out? Don't tease your teacher. I'm <laughs> sorry. When I saw that gloomy face of yours, I just had the nurse to tease you. Okay, so she's just kidding. Good. Don't do it anymore. I don't have a gun, but I have a knuckle duster. You should be arriving at Konohara Academy soon. I open the window and let the cold, air, cold night air in. I don't think I can bear the in indescribable atmosphere. Indescribable. Indes indescribable? The weird atmosphere. She made it weird. What the hell? Whoa, why are the lights red? Why is the first time seeing this? They've been like this in last night. I think that the party did this, but I could be wrong. I see. Is this their way of trying to charm you? In what way exactly? Hmm, let's see. The departed thinks you're their ideal husband, right? They do, yeah. This is something I've seen on TV. In Shinto weddings, bonfires and paper lanterns are usually lit at night to illuminate the path of the newlyweds. I figured this lights had a version of that. 
Are you really going all out to perfect step detail of the wedding then? I mean, everything they do is pretty detailed. <coughs> they issue fancy notices and even blend themselves in with the people in school. But they're having so much fun. I don't doubt that. Among spirits, there are some who feel the greatest pleasure when inflicting fear on humans. Supposedly an exquisite pleasure that humans cannot comprehend. The reporter might be one of those spirits. Mm. Excuse me. Doesn't seem to be ca causing any harm, so we probably shouldn't pay much attention to it. Let's just ignore it for now. You're a strong one, aren't you? Shall we go to the library then? Why don't you go back to the dorms? It's getting late. Boo, I don't wanna. Let me take a longer to the end. I'm curious to know where this leads. But... How about I promise I'll go home once we find the old book? So let me stay until then. What if I don't want to? Then I'll still tag along. Shh. Sheesh. I better find the old book as soon as possible, so this curfew breaking students will head home. The best place to find a book should be the library. Mm, bathroom. <laughs> I need to find teeth. No, no, fine. Are you kidding me? They bounce. You didn't have to do that, you know. It's, it's still supposed to be a horror game. Let me save the game first. It's been a while, but I'm afraid of the game just going kaput because of weird things happening that sometimes happens when I'm trying to stream this game. Final stage already. Uh, books, books. Been checking out books related to insects. Recommend words with his insects. Ah, this is the word beetle encyclopedia is back, huh? Now you can see as many beautiful beetles as you want. Beetles are cute. Mitro takes out a book with a stern looking beetle on the cover. Man, I really can't get enough of this. All of them are just so cute. I guess this is how men just feel when they look at gravity magazines. I don't know how to reply to that. Like, you see this elephant beetle? It's just adorable. Look at this sil silhouette in this corner. As Micho talks about a chauffeur from the book, something falls off. Oh! There are tooth. Why is that here? And he came from an insect encyclopedia about things. Are they challenging me? Don't ask me. I hold on a sec. Now I have to check it. I wasn't expecting that to be anything, but now I have to check it. There are four in this chapter. Really? Uh should I go looking? I feel super relaxed when I come here. It's like I'm coming home. Shall we rest for a bit? I have something sweet. Right in the middle of an investigation, you know. Mr. Yashki, having a peace of mind is also important. Even the old folk, folk legends say so. It depends on the situation. We need to respect the danger that we're in. Okay, I'll give it a try. There's no need to stay here anymore. Oh. You're a teacher, but I barely see you in the faculty room. 
Now that you men that you bleh. now that you mention it, you feel uncomfortable here, and Sakamoto seems to really hate you. It's not the reason. Don't you think she's awful? You've been working so hard for the sake of the school. Should I throw lots, lots of more crickets into the faculty room to get revenge on you? Please don't do that. I'm begging you. They're just more crickets. Can I? Should I gonna see if I can find the rest of the tooth? If the game is telling me that there is more. But only the door is open, as far as I know. Should I fully expo spoil myself and just look for the tooth location on a guide or something? Um, sometimes I think I should do that. So I don't just go like blindly looking around and I can actually expedite this. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I noticed that there is a... Uh... Oh, I shouldn't be showing that. Oh. There is a game capture... Properties. I did notice that there is a um, a spoiler-free walkthrough here. There is the true ending, fully on spoilers, and there is the spoiler-free walkthrough. Does this give me the tooth location? Let me see on chapter one. Chapter two. Chapter two. So cool. Suspensive act. Nisko building first floor. Talk to Himiko. Go into the music room. Head to the right and gain into the storage room. Night phase. Yeah, it does give the night source location. Okay. Message from show. Oh. Talk in for me for a message from show. Oh, I missed the message. Talk to room, apologize, move the student council, thanks for your help, no 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 no. This just this guy telling me how to do things. Oh hmm. there's a large bulletin board here, this is where the first notice was posted. When I moved the papers around, there's a knife damage on some red marks. I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you if I wasn't for the notices. I want to thank the reporter for that. It's rather inconsiderate of the victims when you say it like that. Oops, sorry. Hey, Mr. Ashki. How about you? Are you glad you were able to get to know me and Hime? Yeah, sure. I'm glad. Both of you have helped me a lot. <laughs> Makes me happy to hear that. I'm not used to being praised so directly like that. I'm feeling a bit embarrassed now. Here, a gift for you. Say so thank you for answering my question. Mitchell grabs my hand and gives me a small object. What the? It's a needy tooth. He just told me to check the bulletin board. The guide. She just gives it to me. Why do you have that? You're gathering these things, aren't you? I picked it up on the way. For some reason, I was in the student council room. Ah, oh, thank you. The night I saved the two of them at the clock tower, I went on about all kinds of things related to the case. I remember talking about the lost souls too. Was it that tooth, by the way? <laughs> no idea. I only know these things that some sort of hidden spiritual power. Excuse me. What is going on? Maybe it's the departed's tooth. Probably. What is the next one? Move to the library. Okay. I got other ones I can get for now. Really, you don't have to make them bounce. A goddamn fun service from hell. Fan service. Did I say front service or fan service? Probably fan service. Front service. Hmm. There's a wooden book storage cabinet with a glass door. 
The sciences or special books are aren't allowed to leave the school premises. Since old books would be considered valuable items, I should be somewhere around here. <coughs> Mitchell and I split up to check each book's storage section. Eight series local documents and old maps are stored together in the school newspaper's folder. I scan the documents, hoping to find anything related to the departed to no avail. I can't seem to find anything that looks like a notebook either. E either. Either. What? Hey, Mr. Yashki. This book has some information about M-Town. It shows, shows me a book titled Eight Series Local History, which was left published by the previous headmaster. Self-published. Issued a year ago, this book apparently was only given to a family and close friends. Thinking it might be connected to the case, I write down the bits about M-Town in, in my notes. Konoyahara and M-Town. Konoyahara used to be a small town named M. The area where Konoyahara Academy currently sits was also M-Town's downtown. M-Town and its town beliefs and customs, though they gradually disappear following the westernization that occurs during the Meiji periods. M-Town had its own beliefs and customs. Okay. Furthermore, the plague that occurs at the end of the Meiji era, era caused a sharp decrease in its population. The survivors all called it to the party's wrath, but autopsies determined it to actually be cholera. It's still unknown what the departed refers to, though some speculate it may be tied to the local folklore. M-Town's religion. Two earthly deities were enshrined in M-Town. One of them was Mushigami. Mushigami? Like a mushroom god. Details regarding this deity as hazy as there are not many traces of M-Town's customs. Though it does beg the question, did these people really make an insect? They're uh, insects. So it is what I thought while I was thinking on the fourth chapter. Like it probably is some kind of god that was forsaken by time. Or something. Like a forgotten forgotten deity or something. Mushigami Shrine was said to be located in the vicinity of Konohara Academy's old building. Because the shrine was always because the shrine was already half ruined when the school was founded. They demolished it to build the old building. But that's not good. When the first headmaster, Genzo Konoe, had the shrine demolished, he tried to placate Mushigami and the souls of those who died on the plague. This is how the shrine in the connecting corridor came to be. Both teachers and students might have called it Kokuri Shrine, but that's actually incorrect. There's a mouse in the way. Just notice. Sorry about that. It was simply named after the guardian fox of the Mushigami Shrine, which is now standing in the courtyard. Hmm. Lord Mushigami, huh? What a beautiful name. I wouldn't know the connection to the departed. Hmm, how should I put this? There are many scary stories where God is punishing humans for destroying the shrines. The departed's wrath began before the shrine was destroyed though. True, but I don't think those things are completely unrelated. Because those who knew about the wrath died one, one after the other. You see the picture of the talisman over there? I think they had good taste for choosing centipedes, don't you think so? Is the team Scolopendra? Uh, okay. Mitchell points at the photo on the edge of the page about the local history. Oh, it's the same uh, talisman that was on uh, Kokuri. It's an old talisman with a centipede drawn on it. Looking at the details, this talisman was made at Mushkemi Shrine. Apparently, the previous headmaster got his hands on it. In M Town, people believed they could escape danger by putting the talisman in front of their houses. Why do I feel like I've seen this talisman somewhere before? Now, where was it? Ah, that's right. The shrine on the second floor, but our talisman's hanging there. But all we found inside the shrine was a petri dish. There wasn't any information related to M Town. According to the book, that shrine was built to replace M-Town's Mushigami Shrine. 
So what are the disaster pervading talismans doing hanging in the shrine that's been around for so long? Sorry for whispering. Wait, is that afraid of the Mr. Kokuri rumors or something? I just remembered. I saw that talisman before. Michiko, who is peering at the book besides me, speaks up. The shrine in the connecting corridor, right? To my surprise, she shook her head in disagreement. What? Where did you see it then? Over there. I was completely confused at the time, but I saw the talisman with my own eyes. A place where she was completely confused. Don't tell me she saw the talisman as. Huh? Over there? Clock tower? Exactly. And both him and I were on the ground, I saw the talisman. Why don't we go inspect the clock tower? It's locked though. It was open that time, no? I mean, it's already night time, so who knows? Maybe it's open again. It might be indeed. It doesn't make any logical sense, but I'm still willing to believe he's stuck in that slim chance. Let's go to the clock tower. She's coming down! I'm saving the game again. Just to make sure I don't lose any tooth. Anymore. Next tooth, let's see. Oh. I'm getting a call. Hello? Oh, what's up, Hime? I'm happy Mr. Yashki right now. We're gonna go to the clock tower. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Mr. Yashki is here with me, so we'll definitely be... We'll be fine if the departed shows up. Ring so fast again. Don't be mad, Hime. I promise I'll be home in 30 minutes. Cover for me in the meantime. Oh, he is mad. I mean, she's always kind of irritated by my actions, but she doesn't usually scold me. She's worried about you. I guess so, but I bet she's also worried about you too. She likes you, you know. Enough of that nonsense, please. Now I have proof, alright? Him is always being well behaved, but she totally ignores all Mr. Sakamoto's warnings. You know why? Because she's really giving her all for you. You think so? Absolutely. Please th treat her well. I mean, if she makes herself more presence, I'll try, but she's kind of... Out there. A massive statue of the Guardian Fox stands here. It darkens, which gives one impression that it has been here for quite some time. Now that I think about it, what was the voice I heard before? What's wrong, Mr. Yashki? You look troubled. Oh, actually. I talk about the strange voice I heard when I pray for the girl's safety. Ah, so I pray for him and I. Thank you. <laughs> She flashes a grin at me. I'm tickled. You think that voice might have been the voice of Inari? Maybe they think you're a teacher who deeply cares for his students, so they're granting your wish. The voice sounded way too ominous for that, though. But I did obtain a lost soul that should help me with the investigation. I can't help but think that Inari is helping me out. It's intriguing for some reason. Alright, let's give it a try. Try what? Try thinking about me and make another wish. Who knows? Maybe you hear something. Why don't you give it a try? Yeah, sure. Let's give it a try. Nice. I love an inquisitive teacher. Close your eyes, concentrate and make a wish. I close my eyes as Mitchell said. Bow. 
cross my hands and make a wish for my mind. I hope Michio and Doryu will always be safe. All of a sudden, I hear the sound of something. Th that was... Mr. Yashki! It fell from the fox! Michio gives me an item. Did it really? Is it needed to? Oh, why you just carry that? And just patronizing me. It really worked. Yeah. I didn't hear any voice though. I wonder why. Are you patronizing me? Mm -hmm. A massive statue of the Guardian Fox. Okay. I know you're curious, but why would you don't you try checking some other places? No, yeah, no. Yeah. Once again, I arrive at this place. I recall the story I heard from Doryu this evening. During summer break, Doryu and Michio discovered the doll first headmaster put in there. What the sentence? Discovered the doll the first okay. Is he here? So I ask, swallowing down my saliva. My mind is screaming that I am in grave danger and should not take a one step closer. That bell again. Michio doesn't seem to hear it. I really am the only one who can hear it. The bell stops ringing. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's go. It's coming down. Oh. It's open. How? This is a chance. Let's use this chance to solve the mystery of the clock tower. Uh, yeah, sure. So creaky. Oh! I step into the clock tower. The unpleasant smell of dampness and mold hits my nostrils immediately. Wait outside, Micho. I'm coming with you, I'm not scared at all. No, I want you to keep an eye on the door. If I get locked up in here, things will get really bad. Ah, oh, okay. I'll keep the exit safe for you, be careful. Is that even wise? I'd much rather keep her close. Why are the odds that it, the party is gonna target her? An old western style cabinet with several talismans pasted on it. What do you know? Michio was telling the truth. Let's take a closer look. There's a drawing of a centipede on a talisman, just like in the photo on the book. This talisman seems to be sealing something sinister inside. However, a plank is preventing me from opening the door. I need to get rid of it. Hmm. Just pull it. Hmm. A mannequin without limbs. Has it always been clothed? What? Clothed. What if I leave? Huh? You're back already? I'll tag along then. Where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. Yoshi. A dusty stone floor. Now that I look closely, I can see something resembling a tooth stuck in the gutter. My finger should be able to fit in. Should I pick it out? Yeah. I wedge my finger in and try to fish the item out. However, the tooth doesn't budge, budge at all. Doesn't budge. I should be able to get it if I widen the gap a little. If I wedge the gap open with something hard, then I know what to use. Zip. <laughs> nah, that's gonna hurt. Why is it empty? What? Oh, 
Who was that? I blurt out the question. There is no reply. The silent darkness is the only thing accompanying me in here. It's a large wooden box against the wall. I peer inside to find a crowbar and a wrench. I can use this to get rid of the plank. A blackened wrench. Hang on. I notice something, I look around the room. I don't see any more stairs to climb. This is the top floor. There is no altar here. The female doll was placed on an altar. That's what Doryu told me. The same story was in the school newspaper. So why isn't there an altar anywhere in here? Hmm. I know, right? Like it was supposed to be the, the headmaster's old collection or something. Shut up! Spam my bleeding else for the unknown entity to stop the hour on torture. The voice continues on. It feels like there are insects crawling inside my head as it drones on and on. Maybe there are. Kill, you said. Why do you want me to kill? I'm just gonna go on for a while. That's not what I meant to do. It's a tooth. Level up. Mm, not really. How do I kill with this? What? What was the question? I used the crowbar to remove the plank before getting rid of the talismans. Then I open the door. There's an old book inside. M Town's private records is reading the cover. Is this the old book we're searching for? Nice. This is written a bit peculiar ancient script. I'll, it'll take me some time to decipher the documents. Shit, my headache is getting worse. But I have to read this. This must be what the departed secrets. Oh, you got right. What is happening? Suddenly the letters turn red. Red. Bright red. I can read the book like this. Tell me what's written here. Oh. Kill. Do you want me to kill someone? Not badly. But who? Okay. I am actually re recording this part because when I originally streamed this, I got a little bit worried uh, because of the departed current design. And I overreacted to the stream. I, uh, I overreacted. And it was a little bit ugly. And turns out that it didn't matter, because as I um, confirm myself, I confirmed by myself on the, on the stream at the last chapter, YouTube doesn't really care about the design of this character. So, um, 
yeah, re-recording just to make things a little bit better. Uh, so using mouse and keyboard. Are you the departed? Did you eat Kokori? This is neither a dream nor a hallucination. The departed really has transformed. Dear husband. What are you going to do this time? Where is Michiho, by the way? By the way, by the way. Thank you for the food. Don't tell me you ate Michiho. You who? You have so many people already. Why the hell do you want me to kill? Their body is clearly a monster. I don't really want to get close to it. But what should I do? So actually there is two ways to end this encounter. There is two ways. There is just one way to end this encounter. But there is uh, two different outcomes, more or less. But for the sake of just getting an ending, it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna follow how I did on stream. I started with using the black and range and trying to throw it. I tried throwing the range near the party's feet. Which one of them? Then I managed to intimidate them. The range hit the departed's feet instead of hitting the floor near their feet. Something about the departed's screen earlier seemed strange to me. Looks like the attack is working. I want to believe I made the right choice. Just keep calm and focus. It is just a spider. It is just a spider. It is still freaks me out this design. More on like what YouTube would think, but I don't know man. YouTube doesn't care, what should I do? I mean I don't care in general, it's just a big flashy spider. They keep whispering the same words over and over. Are they telling me to kill the departed or what? Just the departed ones wants me to kill them. And then I went large crowbar, and I, in my mind while I was streaming, I, I, I thought like, oh, if I take a, a defensive stance, the party's gonna come closer and I'm gonna go berserk and start attacking. So I thought if I swing downwards, I'm gonna hit the departure on the legs again. And if it is a bad thing, it's, it's, it's just the legs, you know, so I went with this. <laughs> Trying to think about the situation, I can't forgive the party if they kill Mitchell. I tried to swing the crowbar at the departed. And I didn't fail on string. <laughs> but I'm out of my best right now and I fell on my butt. You want me to kill? My crowbar violently strikes the departed. How's that? That's what you want, right? The departed sounds satisfied. That should be the right choice. If you wish to be killed, I'll put an end to this. I slam the crowbar into the departed. Die! Die! Shut the fuck up! I see the crowbar with reckless abandon. Die! Die, die! 
Die, die. Okay, stop. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Sorry for the fashion, by the way. Here it comes. Consequence of my actions. Why? Why is she... Oh god. On the floor. Bugs. There's a large swarm of bugs. The bloody body is covered in bugs. <laughs> you heard my wish, dear husbands. You killed she who was close to you. Thank you, dear husbands. Don't tell me. I... I was controlled by the departed. Then I... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Is there a game over or the game continues? I flee from the clock tower. I roam about aimlessly with a crowbar in hand. I was being controlled and attacked the spirits in front of me. But it wasn't a spirit, it was Michiko. Even though my eyes saw the departed. Mr. Yashki? What is going on? What are you doing with that bloody crowbar? Lord you. Why are you here? Was worried since Mitchell hasn't come home yet. Where is she? What happened, Mr. Yashki? At a clock tower. I was controlled by the departed. I attacked her with his crowbar. Huh? No way. I'm going to check. Dory rushes out over the clock tower. Even though the departed might still be in there, I can't stop her from rushing inside. She returns after a while. She looks as emotionless as a wax statue, but her eyes are red and swollen. I saw her. She just stares at me, shell-shocked. She doesn't even cry or lash out at me. Her mind can't even process what she, what she should do. Mr. Yashki, what are you going to do now? Uh, call the police. Call the headmaster, call the police. I don't seem to believe you if you tell you are being controlled by the departed. They arrest you. If that happens, you won't be able to pursue the departed anymore. I understand why you want to contact the headmaster, but given the situation, I don't know if he'd be willing to help you. It's too late. She's not breathing. She has no pulse. Dorio. What do you want me to do? Huh? Can I ask you to decide for me? Please. It's a cowardly move, I know. But I also feel my own judgement now. What if I'm still under the departed's control? I'm sorry. Um... 
uh, moving on. Mr. Yashki. Got it. After a long silence, Doryu nods her head. She opens her mouth again right after. Follow me, Mr. Yashki. Once Doryu has settled on a course of action, she quickly regains her composure. I still stunned, but she immediately grabs my head and drags me out of Konohara Academy. Can you drive? Y yeah. You better head to your home first and come up with a plan there. <laughs> Doryu takes the passenger seat as I drive the car back to Kuja Mansion. During the ride, I tell her about what happened earlier. Even though I struggle to find the words I need to pass several times, Doryu pushes me and I manage to get through my recap. Once we arrive at the mansion, I take off my sweat socket shirt and take a shower. But in Dory's words, I warm my body up and calm my mind down. A firm attitude and language reminds me of my late sister. My sister often tried to whip me into shape and scolded me for being lazy. I put on a new shirt and slacks. I may have washed off the blood, but there is no way to cleanse my bloody truth. I'm coming in. You look much better now. Yeah. Thanks to your help. Oh, please. Why are you helping me? I was being controlled, but does it change the fast that I killed? Can you please stop? I know you didn't do it on your own will. Why aren't you fighting the departed? That's what I thought. But it turned out it wasn't the departed. Mr. Yashki. If you truly care for Mitchell, then please avenge her. That's what I wish. And I'm sure Mitchell will feel the same. I want to do that, but there's a corpse in the clock tower. If someone discovers it, then I... It'll be fine. It's on school grounds. And if the departed is involved, her course should disappear. She might be right. The departed probably doesn't want me to be arrested and barred from the school grounds. They're as cunning as a human. Everything that's happened so far is probably all part of the master plan. As long as both of us keep this quiet, you don't do... You won't be suspect- oh, this- It is red, but like, it's Himiko talking. I, I got confused, like, what, what, who, 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 what, who, what, hmm? So you're saying you want us to continue the investigation while keeping Mitchell's death a secret? Exactly. I never forgive you if you say you want to run from the departed now. The real levels that determined gaze at me. I can see black flames burning in her eyes. She's really pissed off at the departed. Maybe granting the wish of the girl whose best friend I accidentally killed is the best way for me to atone for my actions. I'm begging you. Please hunt down the departed. Thank you. I may help you out. Please avenge Mitchell. Doryu falls into my arms. Oh. Mitchell. Why? Why? Doryu sobs deep into my chest. This must have broken her. A girl who lost her best friend and now feels like she's been left all alone in this world. This wound will never heal. But there's one reason I'm still on this earth. It must be the fact that I intend to bring an end to this curse case and bring her some relief. Dog! 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 